gentlemen, my name is Kyle from Mission Start, and today we're going to be discussing memory management and how to make your iDevice, that is iPod, iPhone, or even iPad, if the applications are compatible, um, and how to make them run much faster. Uh, and to do that, we're going to be using uh, four different aspects, or tools, I suppose. Uh, the first one's going to be called Mem Tool. Uh, the second's going to be called Memory Tap. The third is uh, within Winterboard, we're going to be optimizing some themes. And the fourth is we're going to discuss uh, the uh, benefits and the drawbacks of multitasking and application management applications. But before we get to that, um, this video is going to start out with a little bit of a story. Um, recently, uh, and those of you who follow the channel have probably noticed I haven't posted a video in about a month, um, my iPhone 3GS processor. Uh, basically took a dive and uh, made my phone basically unusable. Uh, the screen was flashing and the camera melted to the case, so um, not in the best shape. So I took it back to Apple, they gave me a new one, and slight drawback of that uh, was that until recently, uh, the new 3GSs were unjailbreakable because uh, in the middle of the production line, Apple changed them up and said no, no, no to their exploit. And so um, I had been forced to, or for a short time there, run an iPhone without a jailbreak. I know, it was horrible. So I ended up switching out uh, with a friend of mine for an iPhone 3G. And this number here, which represents my RAM, was around 50. And uh, though that may not seem like a big change, although it is you know less than half, you really felt it when I was, well, I really felt it when I was trying to run multiple applications or even search the web and listen to music at the same time. I uh, really took a hit on the performance. So I did a little bit of research, searched around, and pulled from all the different areas and, and bringing it to you, the viewer, so that you can be able to function with a, um, let's see, less endowed device than the 3GS, or even if you have a 3GS, allow it to run as smooth and slick as the day you bought it even if you have those pesky jailbreaking apps that suck up so much processing power. Uh, and so I think we should go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first application we're going to be talking about is called MemTool, and it's uh, right here in the bottom right of my springboard. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Now this is what the application looks like on this theme because I'm using the Glass Clark theme, but it should look something similar to that when you download it. Uh, and uh, after you hit those scary Chinese characters, you're going to open up this, which is thankfully all in English. And uh, pretty simple user interface. All you need to do is just go ahead and tap clean, uh, hit the OK button, and uh, what it will do is it'll let tell you how many megabytes it was able to free up. Uh, simple as that. You can also go into the processes tab and uh, examine all the things that are running and how much of them, they're, uh, how much of the uh, of your RAM they're using up. But uh, I recommend you don't mess with anything you don't understand because a lot of those things are necessary for the phone to run the OS that it is currently running. So in deleting those to free up RAM will just basically end up having forcing you to respring. So uh, use your own risk in other words. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, head out of this and move on to the next application. The next application we're going to be using is a slight adaptation of the previous one in that it is a little bit more easily accessible no matter where you are on the iPhone. Uh, whether it be in-app, at Springboard, or so, for, so forth. So we're going to go ahead and uh, set it up. This is very, very customizable as it is implemented through Activator. So you can go into Activator, and I think I have it set up under anywhere in Shake Device. So uh, this means that whenever I go ahead and shake my device, it activates Memory Tap, and uh, I'll show you what it does right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and X out of the Settings application so it'll respond. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my device, obviously this is off camera, and shake it. Give it a good shake. And uh, what it'll do is it'll come up with this dialog, freeing memory. And if you're using up any unnecessary RAM, it's going to go ahead and clear it out. Now obviously, this is stay the same because we're not running anything currently. That would suck it up. But say we're running, I'm going to go ahead and open Notes, which is going to eat up a little bit of the RAM, or even give us back some actually. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hold the Home button to background that. Uh, it's just an application city if you're not familiar with it. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up iTunes also. Background that. Um, we'll open up Stocks. Background that. Open up Safari. With a little bit of Google action. 
background that not voice control background that googling Google breaking the world all right so now we have all these applications running in the background we've knocked ourselves down to 102 so we just shake the device rah 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 give it a nice good shake and um, and you guys should note if you're gonna set it as shake it, it's not whenever you move the device that it activates um, it's pretty pretty you need to give it a pretty good you know shaking and as you can see it just jumped from 102 to 120 so um, a little bit easier to use or more accessible than the uh, mem tool but uh, each has its own uh, benefits uh, it's it's more of a, you know preference mouse today the next aspect we're going to be discussing is winterboard optimization. Now this one's pretty simple, so we can probably cover this in about, I don't know, under a minute. Go ahead and open up winterboard, and though some of you may have seen this, it's not clearly defined what it is. Uh, it's a, there is a tab now in new winterboard called Optimize Themes, version 1.0, and it even says for speed. Now what this does is take all the clunky original PNGs from uh, your themes and make them uh, iPhone optimized. Now back in the day when we were in uh, first generation iPod touches and themes were first being developed and created, uh, you would notice a severe slowdown in your devices and even today if you have too many things going on, like currently I only have an icon uh, based theme, but you know there are UI themes and status bar themes. Uh, if they are uh, applied, it can really slow down your device. So simply hitting this and converting all your themes to an iPhone format will drastically change the the the, um, the speed of your device or not, depending on how uh, heavily you use Winterboard. But knowing that it's there is uh, important to getting the most out of your device. Finally, uh, we have our multitasking applications, and among them are. The most popular are Pro Switcher and MultiFlow, which uh, MultiFlow being the uh, the groundbreaking innovator, and Pro Switcher coming closely behind it with a pretty cool Palm Pre esque user interface. Is what I use personally. Uh, and MultiFlow, we have a video up on the channel, so you can go check that out if you're if you're curious. Uh, there's also Circuitous, which um, takes a pretty interesting take on um, multitasking. And just go ahead and you know, a quick Google of circuitous. I'll pu uh, put it up in the uh, description down there below the video for spelling. But um, the what you need to understand for iPhone speed is whichever one of you of these that you decide to download, uh, you can use it not only to background applications and then view it in a friendly UI format, like I will do now. Double tap the home button, and uh, with a little bit of loading, uh, we have all of our applications we're currently running. And then we background it earlier so we can go up. But what you can also do is the pretty little X button, or uh, in this thing, you can just slide it up like it's a Palm Pre application, and just go ahead and quit it. And what that's going to do is you're going to, as you watch this, and I quit applications, it's going to free up a lot of that random access memory because you're no longer running. As you can see, it's going up to 135 now. Get rid of notes. You know, we need the phone because this is obviously it's a phone, but we can get rid of camera and not have that running in the background. And now, um, even more quickly than um, either of the memory-based freeing applications, we've just saved ourselves about 30 megabytes of RAM. Uh, and even if you don't want to be multitasking on your device, having one of these applications, whether it be, again, Multiflow, you know, Pro Switcher, or Circuitous, can give you that freedom to delete those applications that you don't want running in the background and give you more um, control over what is running and how you spend your RAM, depending on how much you have. Uh, but uh, I think that is all. We've covered all four aspects, and now if you have used all of them, you should be able to stay around your tippy-top amount of RAM on your iDevice and make it run like it's just brand new. Uh, but this has been Kyle from Mission Start, uh, you know, for iPhone tips, themes, and other cool stuff. Check out the channel. Uh, but yeah, that's all. And, uh, thank you for watching.